Well, welcome everybody. This is a great day to be kicking off Jim's Promise Tour here, right beside of I-64. Uh, we're gonna be highlighting a project out here and, and this is the kickoff tour. This is where it all starts. We, we met with our contractors earlier this week uh, to talk about what was coming, but we're out here today to actually kick the tour off and it's just, this is what highway engineers live for, so this is a great day. I'm gonna give some brief remarks and then I'm gonna be happy to introduce my boss, the governor. Uh, so I'm gonna jump into this and say that uh, uh, a few folks I'd like to recognize. The first is our West Virginia contractors and our West Virginia consultants. Uh, the private sector is so important to us as we figure how to get this roadway work done. And those folks are our partners as long as the day is long uh, that help us get the work done. Uh, the other thing that I, I really want to say and recognize is the awesome men and women of the West Virginia DOT. I've been on the DOT team now for about six months and it's just incredible to me the dedication and hard work I see every day. I've worked with them for years, but now that I'm a member of the team with them, it's incredible what I see. And so thank you, uh, West Virginia DOH. I do wanna uh, have Gary Mullins and Scott Eplin raise their hand out here. They're our district managers over here. They're the face of DOH in the field. Uh, they're also who you need to send your questions to if you have questions about anything. So they are happy to help you out. Uh, good customer service at the West Virginia DOT. Well, I want to tee this up. Uh, uh, my boss, the governor, has many virtues, and one of his virtues is he's a very impatient man. Now, that might not sound like a virtue, but in this case it is. That impatience is because there's not a moment to lose in getting this work done. And I can tell you that the governor turns the heat up on us about trying to get this work out. And he, he was said to us, get this work going immediately. And so we think as managers, we've done something smart. We've made it so that we're running full tilt across the start line. We started months ago anticipating this day that we'd be able to get work out. Now think about this, that the legislature and all of the, the, the session ended, but we don't have a penny of new money in our hands yet. It takes some time for that to trickle in. We don't have a single new employee at the West Virginia DOH yet who is there to work on this project particularly, or this program particularly. But what we have done is we've leveraged $350 million, $350 million of work in the first three months after this is kicked off. That's one and a half times the stimulus program that, go, uh, that President Obama put out in 2009. You're gonna see that work starting immediately as we're talking about the project out here today. So that, that's remarkable. Uh, this is a historic program. This is a, a transportation program that 20 years from now, people will be talking about. You remember Governor Justice's Promise program that happened back in 2017. People will be talking about this as the years go by. It's, it's remarkable the size of it. it it's eye-popping as far as what it can do. Now, Governor Justice is the, is the man who came up with the idea. He created the vision, he fleshed out the vision, and he pushed this across the finish line. And this is about highways, but it's about so much more than highways. It's truly about economic recovery. It's about hope. It's about thousands and thousands and thousands of immediate jobs. Uh, it's hope for things like combating the drug ep epidemic that we have here in West Virginia. So if you, if you think I'm excited about this, I am. This really changes the day. It's a game changer for us. So this, for us at the DOH, is an awesome responsibility that the governor has handed to us with this. We take this seriously. We're gonna make sure the work's done right. Uh, we're gonna be out there and, and do our job as far as monitoring it. And we're fortunate that we have the partners I mentioned earlier with the, the contractors we have here, the wonderful workers we have here in West Virginia. And, and so we're gonna make this work and it's gonna be exciting. I wanna tell you that the way we've done this is we have geographic equity with the way we've arranged these projects. And the, the easy words for that is we've got projects in every single state We've got every type of work, everything from slips on the roadside to replacing bridges, uh, to taking care of US Route 60 and some of those two lane roads, to taking care of the secondary roads that we have out there, and then all the way up to full interstate reconstruction like we're doing out here on this section of I-64 close to Milton. This will affect every citizen in the state of West Virginia and it will make every citizen's life better as we push this program out. So we're pushing this out in waves, continuous waves, 30 million for the US routes. Uh, then we're following that with 100 million for working on these little secondary service routes that don't really get much attention. We're gonna have a year of, of about $100 million on that type of road, and this is gonna make a difference that folks haven't seen those roads worked on in, in a long, long time. 
Now in October, we're going to actually have the first Garvey bond issuance. It's going to be $230 million. We're checking the archives, but we think that is the single biggest bond issuance, single biggest bond issuance for highway purposes in the history of the state of West Virginia. Again, it's remarkable what this program does. So, uh, oh, and the final thing I'll say is how important, I know Governor Justice wants to talk about this, how important it is on October 7th to make sure that we get the, the general bond referendum passed because that's where we get to some of the really big projects, the projects like the Nitro St. Albans Bridge, the I-70 uh, bridge projects up in Wheeling. We get to these extremely large projects and we need those large dollars to get to them and accelerate and advance the schedule for that. Now real quickly about I-64 out here, I-64, uh, if you've driven it lately, it'll rattle your teeth. I drove it this morning and it rattled my teeth. It needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. We can't just continue to just mill off the top and resurface these roads. There's a point where what you need to do is, is take it and build it from the ground up and we're able to do that here. It's about $15 million. Uh, it's about six miles long. Creates hundreds and hundreds, over 300 jobs are supported by this. That's direct jobs with the construction, the indirect jobs of folks working on the features of the construction and then the, the increased economic development here in the Taze Valley area. So 300 jobs supported there. It's paid for as part of that Garvey bond program. And we're shooting for a letting date of August the 24th. Uh, the governor told me this morning that's his father's birthday. And so we're hoping that we can get that letting date met. We're gonna work hard to do it. And it's gonna be an exciting time to get this going for this really needed project. Well, that's enough about, uh, from my perspective. What I wanna do now is, is introduce my boss uh, again. Governor Justice is the man who had the vision, the idea, pushed this across the finish line. It truly provides hope for our citizens. I am proud to be a member of his team, and I'm proud to introduce the 36th governor of the state of West Virginia, Governor Justice. Well, let's be real. What an incredible secretary Tom Smith is. Thank you. Think about what a blessing we have within our state to have him. And in, real, in all honesty, you can see, and this is what I love in people, but he's stuck on on. I mean, that's all there is to it. He's like the Energizer Bunny on steroids, but he's really, really doing it, and, uh, and we've got good stuff on the way. Now, I'd like to recognize two of my colleagues that are here, Senator Glenn Jeffries, and Senator Mike Hall, and you need to give them a round, big round of applause as well. Now, let's just think. All this came about, you know, I truly believe, and I say it all the time, that uh, the good ideas, at least in my world, come to me from the good Lord, and then I'll take credit for the bad ones. But uh, way back, Way back in the primary, I thought, you know, we got the, the, the equation, the answer is really simple. In West Virginia, we know we're 50th in everything coming or going, and we don't deserve to be that, but we are. And we got to do better. And we're broke, or we're, for all practical purposes, we're, real we're really struggling with money. So how do we get there? What do we do? And this is the thought process that I was going through forevermore. What is the secret? The secret to everything is one thing, and that is you've got to be able to do something that generates immediate jobs, immediate opportunity, immediate hope. Absolutely, what is the number one target? Our roads our roads, the jobs that we have already engineered and already designed and we just couldn't figure out how to put it together and pull it off. I've thought about that a long time. And today is the first day of a real dream. And if we could do this letting on my dad's birthday, whom I miss beyond belief every day, August the 24th, that's really even more meaningful. You see, this is the beginning. 
This is the beginning of us truly on our way back. This is the beginning with a great man and great people in the DOH and everywhere that are going to do the work that now you won't have to put a piece of rubber in between your teeth if you're driving out here on the, on the interstate because you don't want to damage your teeth going up and down the road. Now, today's only the beginning, only the sprinkle that's really going to grow. Now, let me say this. On October the 7th, we're going to have a vote. The vote's not going to be for being able to increase your taxes or not increase your taxes. The vote is going to be for one thing, and that is our ability to put together the pieces of the puzzle that are already in place. They're already in place. All you're really voting for is to give us the ability to put it together into a box and really take our state off. Now I'll tell you, I could go out here tomorrow and get run over. But this truly is the first step to bringing West Virginia to what we deserve it to be. We that have lived here all of our lives or have lived here for three months know just how great all what we have truly is. But the outside world doesn't know. And a lot of the outside world can't even get here because once they get here, they're going to have to probably repair their car to be able to prepare for the trip to leave here. So now we're got, we've got something, and we do have immediate jobs. We do have a way to combat this terrible drug epidemic. We do have a way to put our people back to work and give them hope. This is a great day, and I love all of you for it. And we're going to do it now. Let's roll. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, Governor.